Hello everyone. Welcome to Redline Diecast Calls. So glad you're here. Today I am going to reveal a couple of Redline restorations that came in yesterday. And I'm so excited to share these beauties with you. This is a, uh, about, I don't know, six or so cars that uh, were restored by uh, a friend of mine who does the wonderful work and his restoration capabilities. And I wanted to show you the work that Mattel never did, never made the original 16 custom Corvette in light green. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the detail, the tail lights. We use uh, deep dish wheels in the um, the rears. The rear has deep dish, you see that? The front does not. Nice little variation there. Beautiful engine. The hood lays very, very nice. What a beautiful custom Corvette in light green. Isn't that nice? The next one, oh boy, I, this whole group, just outstanding work by this artist who um, I am so grateful for his work and his detail, the, um, the attention to the colors off the charts. Look at this. A heavy Chevy in competition orange. Heavy Chevy, Competition Orange. Isn't that something? Look at the beauty on this one. Detail on the stripes. Placement to perfection. Engine, super clean and chromed up. Treated beautifully. Look at the stripe. The lights glow under black light, like you would expect. Reproduction roundels, of course. Competition orange. Heavy Chevy. Don't you love that profile? A little bow tie action there. Put him on the spinner. You can drink that one in. I'll give you a, a, sh uh, a look at all the cars after I open them all up for you. Heavy Chevy. Competition orange enamel. Yeah enamel we take these cars and bring them back to life and we thought that was so beautiful to share them with you if you do uh, like the content here i do uh original red lines of course but if you like the content go ahead and subscribe share this uh share the videos so we can get this out into youtube land other people can enjoy such beautiful craftsmanship here's a beautiful U.S. Mantis in gold. Ooh, isn't that nice? Look at the shine and finish on that. Beautifully done. Bright vision wheels. Super chromey pipes. Glass has been buffed out. Lays properly. Sometimes the glass will not lay properly because the plastic interior... You see that steering wheel? Sometimes the steering wheel will be, will be you know, having, um, it's projecting up a little bit. It won't, it won't allow the glass to lay nice. Look how that lays beautifully. Mantis in gold. Ooh, check that out. Beauty right there. Beauty right there. Next one coming out of the box. Let's see. I'll show you here. This is a nice one. I'm just gonna take them out as they as they come out. Ooh, this is that beatnik bandit he was telling me about. Look at this light green beatnik bandit. Now the engine is a reproduction engine. It's not the original. You can always pop those out and put your own engine in there if you wish. Check out the bubble. Just beautiful how it's buffed out. The plastic bubble up on top there. 
original shoes. Yep. Yeah. We put original shoes on there. <clears throat> so you have the red line effect. Look at that. What a beautiful green car. US. So many beautiful castings. The person who does the work <clears throat> is an experienced artist as well and <clears throat> loves red lines. Just loves red lines. Wow, that, that uh, residue from the tissues getting onto the turntable. <laughs> Look at this heavy Chevy. Isn't that beautiful? Magenta. Mattel did not make the heavy Chevy and magenta. They made them in purple. We know that, right? As a serious red line collector, you know that. But not in magenta. Ooh, nice. Beautiful, beautiful detail again. The stripes to perfection. Placed properly. Measured up and placed in where they were supposed to be. Isn't that nice? What a great little car here. Yep. An opportunity for you to add some pizzazz to your red line collection. <sighs> I'll bring this back a little bit so you can see some of those cars. How's that? Maybe a little bit better, huh? Yeah, I was up kind of close to the to the picture there. Another one. What is this? There's a couple in here that well, all of them are beautiful, but <clears throat> excuse me, look at this one here. Ooh, man. How about a custom, well, actually the Continental. This is Bright Vision Copper. Bright Vision Copper with a matted black roof. Have you ever seen a, a Continental like this before? Ooh. Yep. Hong Kong tires on there, Bright Vision reproductions, but you can always pop those off. Look at the detail in the back. You can always pop those out and put whatever you like on that. Isn't that beautiful? The white interior. Bright Vision Copper. Bright Vision Copper. What a beautiful car. Gorgeous. You know, that's a show off piece right there. You got to have stuff like that in your collection. You know, the finish on the cars, we actually take and um, redo the metal, of course, and some of that um, is overchrome, has an overchrome appearance. Check this out. This is one of the ones, one of my favorites. How about special delivery in white enamel? <laughs> you ever see that? Check it out. Look at the stripe on the bottom underneath the, uh, on either side of the engine. Isn't that cool? Red, white, and blue. All the stickers as uh, Mattel had and normally put on the cars. These are reproductions, of course, but how about a special delivery in white enamel? Can you dig it? <laughs> Isn't that special? A put on words. <laughs> yep. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's see. I think this is the last one. Yep, this is the last one. What could it be? Oh, you know what? I saved the last one for a little surprise for you. How about this one here? A custom Barracuda with purple interior finished in red line shop brown. Red line shop brown, beautiful car. Look at that. As I was describing the metal finish that we use, we finish the metal and then apply the translucent paint. Isn't that gorgeous? Don't you love it when the, the off interior color is placed in a Barracuda? <laughs> yeah, no crack in the deck. Gorgeous car. Look at the shine off the lights there. Isn't that cool? I'm going to put him on the spinner. Look at that shine. 
Whew, man, I'm telling you what, this is a home run. It's a grand salami, grand slam here today. Those are the cars that came in. These will all be auctioned and on the uh, my Facebook site called Studio Redline. And <clears throat> that'll be, um, oh, in the upcoming weeks. If you're interested in selling a Redline collection, I'm always looking to buy. Please like and subscribe, as I said before. I like to get this content out to as many people as possible. Just for the fun of it. Just for the fun of Redline collecting hobby that you enjoy, that I enjoy. And always welcome your comments. And uh, do, uh, do come back often. Goodbye, everybody. See ya.